Islamophobic propaganda works continually to undermine Muslims, works continually to dehumanize Muslims, works continually to produce frames around jihad, around Sharia law, to exclude Muslims from places of participation. The goal of such Islamophobic hate is to erase Muslim participation, is to erase Muslim knowledge, is to erase Muslim claims to democratic processes in democracies across the globe. So how do you counter such Islamophobia? One of the central elements in countering Islamophobia is to build voice infrastructures where voices of Muslims can be heard. If the goal of Islamophobia is to erase Muslim voices, you resist that by actually listening to Muslim voices, by building spaces where Muslims can participate and engage, by listening to the various ways in which uh, Muslims work toward building uh, peaceful communities, the ways in which Muslims contribute uh, to building social cohesion in communities. So let's think about the ways in which we can each contribute to building spaces where Muslim voices can be heard, to building these voice infrastructures where Muslims can participate and to celebrating Muslim agency, the capacity of Muslims to participate in these spaces, to articulate ideas that are grounded in Islam, ideas that challenge the disinformation and hate, and ideas that offer us openings toward alternative futures that are anchored in justice and peace.